Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. Today we're out riding in Cardrona, New Zealand, and I wanna take you guys through all the different jump progressions from extra small side hits all the way through to the XL jumps here at Cardrona. I'm up here riding with TJ, and between the two of us, we're gonna give you our best advice to help you progress through all those different size jumps. Yeah guys, another beautiful day out here. I've got my eye on the XL jumps today, so hopefully we'll work our way up to those, and I'll let you know what's going through my mind as I'm hitting those larger jumps. All right guys, so down here we've got some side hits, which are the perfect place to start. Hitting side hits, getting comfortable, doing ollies, getting some air, and landing with speed. So down here, there's lots of great spots. I would say the biggest tip for doing side hits is actually lining your board up so that you're taking off straight and landing straight before doing a couple speed checks to slow yourself down. Next up, we've got some small jumps right here behind us. When you're going for small jumps for your first time, make sure you've prepared yourself, you've hit some side hits, you're comfortable riding with speed, and also make sure that you're going into the park when it's in good condition and the jumps are looking nice and smooth. A couple of tips I'd keep in mind before your first drop is watch some other people hit it first so that you know you're gonna have good speed going into the jump. And also think about getting a nice level pop. That's gonna send you into the air nicely and set you up for a smooth, predictable landing. All right, so up next, we got three medium jumps. And I'd say the key for hitting those mediums is first building up the confidence by hitting lots of small jumps, by getting the speed on the smalls and being comfortable with speed. It's just gonna give you that extra boost to go for those mediums for the first time. And the nice thing with the medium jump too is that if you come up a little bit short and you do knuckle, it's not gonna be the end of the world. You can definitely knuckle a medium and still ride it out. Those jumps felt really nice. I think the biggest difference between the small set and the medium is just being comfortable having more speed. So once you get that confidence, practice riding with speed and being in control, then that's when you know it's time to step up the size of the jump. All right, so finally, TJ is gonna take us through some XL jumps. These jumps are looking massive, but they also look very smooth, very well built. TJ, take us through the whole process of how the heck you do one of these. Yeah, it definitely can be kind of scary hitting XL jumps at a new place. So starting off the day, just getting warmed up on some of the smaller jumps, getting comfortable in the air. And every chairlift ride, I was eyeing those jumps really closely, trying to watch other people hit them to try to figure out the speed. It looked like no speed checks into the first one, a tiny speed check into the second one. And honestly, with the way that these jumps are, the landings are so long, it's more comfortable to just go with a little extra speed, maybe send it just a little bit deep, because that's gonna be a way better outcome than landing short. First jump felt great, continue to point it into the second one, and it was just really smooth. It feels so good to be in the air for that long. David, how's the day out here, man? Oh, it's so sick. It's so crazy being back out here with no snowboard. <laughs> Walking around. <laughs> I walked all the way down here. And yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> just hiking the mountain? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Get some good shots. Oh, got some shots, yeah. Yeah, got some shots of TJ on the jump. Nice, dude. Yeah. All right. So all right, David. All right, bye. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> 
Cool guys, I hope those tips will help you out with your jump progression. If you have any questions, leave them for us down in the comments. Also, check out the Snowboard Trick playlist where there are dozens of videos to help you guys learn snowboard tricks. If you guys want to see TJ hit more large features, go check out his channel over at Board Archive. And if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe out there, and we'll see you in the next video soon. Have fun out there in the park, guys. Thank you.